Hello guys, Wilson Box here and in this video we are talking about how you can maximize your Helio Light Dices. Don't forget to subscribe. Helio Light Dices are very important and with these ones we will have a chance to summon the heroes we want, okay? And we don't have a lot of these Helio Light Dices. If you are not a free to play or low spender, if you are buying them, they are very expensive to get. So it's really important that we maximize our, our dices. So this way we get the most of it. Okay, so let's talk about strategies, how you can use your Heliolite dices. So there are several ways and there are several banners. Okay, so every season we start with a, with a 80 Heliolites regular banner. We start, start with a, a season future summons and this is it basically when the season starts and while we progress we get some events where we can choose a blessing hero etc okay and we have another event the events for the hero of the season as well like hard red and other ones like 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 that one you can get kind of for free so there are several options uh, to choose all right so one of the ways that everyone does is to spend your dice off the beginning of the season and then start saving them um, from there. Okay, so that's one of the best ways uh, to to use your dices. But that can change while you're progressing on the season. Okay, and this can will be different from uh, for each player, uh, for each person because it really depends what you are getting. Of course, this will be the best strategy. Save your dices. Uh, you can use them. On the, the events like Arzred, you can use on those events where you get one banner like this. So you can do like 100 summons and get some like uh, Yellow Essence, Essence of Creation and some Master Scrolls. But ideally, we don't want to spend like 20, 30, summon, 30 Yellow Light Dices to get one Mastery Scroll. Alright, I don't think it's worth it unless you really want the other stuff. Uh, the other like petals for the season 4 event or the other materials you need to summon Ardred, okay? Unless you need those items, I don't recommend to use on this one unless you are on season 1. This is the only situation where I see you can use your dices on these banners, these 100 summons, is if you are playing season 1 and you want to make uh, the mess of your elite dices because at least if you really want to do some summons, because you have not enough uh, legendaries, you want more, you have a lot of to spend, you are just starting season 1, you can you want to get your account stronger, so of course this will be a good banner, because this way you spend your light dices, you have a chance to get some new legendaries, and at the same time you are getting something more, okay? Something essence of creation, because on season 1 we don't have much, and then you get mastery scrolls, again mastery scrolls, and the sense of creation. I only think this will be a good option to summon on this banner. So this will be for the event uh, where you get the materials. And there's another one uh, over the season that you get, uh, like this one. But only for season 1, for season 2, 3 and 4, I don't really recommend to use on this banner because since after season one, you will get much more instances of creation. It will be like a snowball. Every season, we will, you will have more. So don't worry about this. You, you will struggle on season one, but after that, just uh, do your make a good choice on what artifacts to level up, and you should be fine. So basically, you start the season. You want to summon on this banner, the 80 uh, summons banner, and on the featured summons. All right, and. Over the season, you get all of these events. Okay, if you go here to upcoming events, yeah, season two, it's these two. All right, Purkonte and the Shitius and Beldel. Okay, these are the three most important, especially Beldel. I think Beldel is the game changer from season two. Season three, you will have several uh, game changers. Okay, then we have these Blessed Summons as well, where you can choose three. This will be really good as well, but the, the problem about this banner is because you never know which one you will get, okay? And the moment you get one of those three, uh, the the percentage, the rating uh, will stop increasing, okay? So the, the rate will reset, okay? So just to do a comparison and explain this better, I'm going to my Season 3 account, Season 4 account, and then Season 1. So 
I can explain better what strategy I'm going to use for th those two accounts. So we we are uh, on my season four account. I'm just going to show you the euros I got. Okay, I was not very lucky on this account. I have a lot of good euros, but I don't have like the important ones. I have the, the best burning characters, the secondary ones. I don't have a shit use. If I had, will be crazy good. Uh, I have Purkunte. So if I go here, Thunderbolt, but I have these two, I don't have Orfina, Orfina will be a game changer if I had Orfina with Perconte, they together, they do a massive damage. So I have a lot of good supports, as you guys can see, but then I'm missing the explosive ones, all right? The important ones that will do a massive damage. I was lucky to get the exclusive from Aura, but Aura is the weakest one from all of them. So... Well, it was a good summon, but not a game changer. All right. And as you guys can see, I got Ugo and this was the last character I got. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of characters. I don't have the, the exclusive ones that will change my account and increase my damage a lot on Vortex. But I'm also missing the most important so support units. OK, and these support units, since I already have so much characters, this will change my account and improve it a lot. OK. At least a few damage so I can increase increase my ranking on Vortex and all the other content. So on this account, it was time to do some summons on this, the Blessing Banner. All right, guys. So I don't know if it's still up. Yeah, it's still up. So it's easier to understand. This, this for example, this one was very, very good. As you guys can see, I was missing uh, some petals. OK, uh, I was looking for some petals because I'm not doing that much damage. And because of that, I used some summons on this banner. It's the only reason I see to use summons on these banners is to get this stuff to summon the the event, uh, the hero from the that event. Then this banner, this blessing banner, is really really good because you can get more than one good character from this banner. Okay, you can get Tarival if you don't have him. You can get Ugok, Cinderel, uh, this one from season four now. Uh, and this one as well, Twitch, if you have good poison characters, is a really good act, uh, like, um, is really good to apply, applying poison, it applies a lot of stocks, so if you have the, 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 the explosive for poison, it will be a really good one to use with him, okay, so, using the, so I choose Zugok as a blessed character, as you guys can see, and you need to pay attention to this banner, okay, because this banner is really tricky, you, to make sure you summon a character here, you need around 130, 135 summons, all right? If you are really, really, really unlucky. But if you are going to do just a few summons, keep in mind, imagine that you you are lucky, you summon some legendaries, that's the, the, like the first one will be 10 summons, the second will be, again, five summons, and then you have a 10 times um, chance, increased chance to summon, okay? And of course, when you see the 10 times, you want to go all the way in. So don't forget, if you don't have enough dices, you will feel tempted to spend some money and get some dragon crystals to get more Halo Light dices, okay? Because I know it's very tempting after, after getting the 10 times, you really want to go all the way in to the 20 times and eventually summon the character. Okay, if it's Ugok, for example, this banner is very worth it. Ugok and Cinoral are characters really important to have. If you don't have them uh, and you want to boost your account for a little bit, I really advise you to use this blessing banner. OK, if you already have them, these these important characters, these one, these two ones, then and you have Lossia and the other the, and Del Sebre. I think this is the, the most important supported support units that you must have. If you have them, just save your dices. Use your dices on the beginning of the season for the 80 uh, summoner, regular summoners, and then use all of your other Eliolite dices on the seasonal banner, okay? Because the seasonal banner, especially season two and three, are hugely important. They will boost your accounts with those exclusives, especially season three, you get Rook. So that's why I'm doing this video, guys, so I can guide you the new player not just the new players but all the players all over the seasons because we want to make sure you are we are maximizing our dices and get the most of it so let's just have a quick look at my season one account and then will be it right now this is my season one account and you guys are gonna see the difference okay 
So I have one, I have two exclusives on my season four account. After four seasons, on my season one account, I have one, two, three already, okay? I already have three exclusives at the beginning of the season one, okay? So guys, you can see how crazy it is. The RNG is really random. So since I already have these three characters, I really want to aim to get the, the supports for them, okay? So for the supports, you can aim to use the blessing, uh, the blessing banners, okay? Because the blessing banners will have a greater chance to give the hero that you need. So imagine you want the activator, you want the poison hero for increase my damage of my loot here, then I'm gonna use the blessing banner because I'm pretty sure I will get that character. I'm, I'm missing Ugok from this season. I think Ugok is one of the most important uh, supports of season one. So eventually, if I'm happy with the legendaries I have, at the moment I'm very happy with this team, I will use the blessing banner to get to Gok because for example, I have Lota here, and if I get the poison, the good poison characters like Twitch, and then I, I get to use Ugok as well, you guys are gonna see my damage will be crazy, crazy with all of those poison characters, okay? So basically this is it, guys. It really depends what heroes you have, so you really need to choose wisely, but the best strategy is always to save your dices, use the Elite banner at the beginning of the season, you summon on the featured uh, summon banner for that season. Season 2 and Season 3 is the ones that you want to invest more dices as possible, because those banners will give you the best exclusives heroes, and of course Season 3 is the, yeah, the banner. Season 3 is the banner. You will get the Rook, Ozul, those two characters will do a lot of damage and will make sure those characters will push all over the content, especially Azul on Feymander and Spylar of Thrill, they will do all the, th the content for you, okay? They are very strong, they are very good, Azul and Rook. Rook will carry you over the Vortex, so as you guys uh, are aware, those char characters are very, very important. So guys, if you have any other question about Hello Light Ices, how you should use them and where you should invest them just comment below or join my discord you can find the link below as, as well in the description and just join my discord ask me or anyone in my discord about your questions where you should invest your dices and just share your team with us and everyone will be happy to help each other and grow up a big and healthy community so thank you so much for watching this video as always don't forget to leave that like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.